All right, so we just got some really, really extremely interesting Star Wars news to talk about today. This is either really, really good news or could be considered bad news, depending, I guess, how you kind of look at this. And for those of you who haven't heard about this, there is a report going around right now that does suggest a Star Wars What If series is reportedly in the works by Disney, of course, being reported by Daniel RPK. There's another one being reported by Fandom Wire that they are making a What If series as well. And I think a couple other people online have pretty much reported this. Now, for those of you who don't know what What If is, it is actually a Marvel series developed by Disney that does say, you know, basically, if a circumstance in the Marvel Universe that is canon, let's just say Thanos again, collecting all the Infinity Stones and snapping everyone out of existence, right? A canon event like that, but what if that canon event, like that event didn't actually happen? What if Thanos didn't, you know, snap all these Avengers out of existence? And what if the Avengers actually beat him the first time around? Like a scenario like that, right? Like. For example, a Star Wars one, what if Qui-Gon Jinn trained Anakin instead of Obi-Wan? Basically saying, what if Qui-Gon never lost the battle to Darth Maul? That is essentially what What If is. It is an animated series which does go over a bunch of different scenarios that people are like, well, what if this happened? What if that happened? You know, a ton of different things. The Marvel one has received a lot of good praise a lot of people really really like it and a lot of the ideas they've done unfortunately for me i haven't really found a whole lot of the ideas they've done too interesting although i really like the concept again i'm not that big of a fan of captain carter and they've used her character in like four episodes i believe of like different what if scenarios so again that is the the negative about it if we're going to talk about the star wars negatives and positives the positives are holy crap there is a hundred different what if scenarios they can do what if anakin was trained by qui-gon instead of obi-wan what if mace windu beat the emperor in the Re in revenge of the sith right you know what if uh, what if anakin never lost the battle to obi-wan on mustafar all of these different type of situations and scenarios that a lot of people would really, really like to see are right there. Unfortunately, we got to remember this is Disney and about 50% of the Star Wars that is out there was not developed by Disney. And we just know that in reality, they are going to very much focus on the products that they've made unfortunately speaking a lot of the disney products there isn't a whole lot that people like other than like the mandalorian rogue one potentially episode seven and like Andor. right there's a lot of controversy surrounding essentially every other series and movie the reality is this is a disney series and let's just say they give us eight episodes right at least four or five of them are probably going to be focused on characters like Rey, characters like Finn, the sequel trilogy characters, right? That just no one really cares about. That's the unfortunate thing that I see. Again, this could very much go a different way where maybe there's only one or two episodes focused on Rey and maybe the other sequel characters. I, I still expect that. There is just the massive negative that they could very much focus a lot of the episodes on the characters they've made and the characters that unfortunately no one gives a flying fuck about that is just the reality of things the positive is though against that claim is that dave filoni is now like the executive producer at disney and he again was the main man under george lucas and now he's the main man under disney so i wouldn't be surprised if he again still does a ton of really cool ideas and we know dave filoni is extremely big into the fan service so in reality if Dave Filoni has even some control of this show, which he probably will being an executive producer, he will hopefully put an input in for a couple of really awesome ideas. One idea that I actually saw online, which I think would be 
absolutely insane is an idea that I think they could do, but it also probably won't. And that is, what if the Stormtroopers found out where Yoda was living after the events of Revenge of the Sith? Obviously, we know Yoda lives in Dagobah, uh, in a swamp world by himself. We do know that Yoda, a couple years after Revenge of the Sith, was still naturally somewhat in his prime before, like, giving up kind of being a Jedi uh, and becoming like a like a hermit who waited for Luke Skywalker to come and find him. Again, when, when we do look at that, that is a really awesome idea of seeing like this swamp, right? This really dark swamp having all these stormtroopers and a potential inquisitor land on this planet thinking they might have, that might know a Jedi that's here. And then Yoda like, in the in the fo in the the swamp and all the trees and that just coming in and killing pretty much all of these stormtroopers i think there is a huge chance as well that well not a huge chance but i think it would be a really awesome chance i should say if they actually made that like an ma15 type again i know they don't like to do star wars really above pg i believe a couple of the movies are rated m like i think revenge of the sith is and I think maybe a couple episodes of like Andor and stuff are rated M, etc. Again, we know that Disney are finally letting a lot more creative control with Marvel now, with Deadpool 3 and Blade and all these projects being MA15 and R rated, right? I think in a little format that this is, wouldn't it be awesome if one of the episodes was like MA15? I just think having Yoda like hunt down these stormtroopers who have just entered his land or something in this what if scenario would be an awesome, awesome idea. Again, in this what if scenario, they could also somewhat maybe, you know, have Yoda basically cut these guys in half, which we haven't seen them do Star Wars in a long time. Star Wars lightsabers have kind of been resorted to if you hit someone with it, they get like a slash across them. When back in the day, if you, if you hit someone with a lightsaber, it was going directly through them. Disney kind of changed that and for the worse or the best, I don't know why they've done it, but again, in a more higher rated Star Wars, maybe some of these episodes are M, even that would be just cool. Yeah, hopefully that'd be pretty cool to see in my opinion. But I still think this is a really cool idea. This is a really awesome concept and I'm happy that Disney are doing it. I hope they give us what the fans want, which again is episodes ideas of like, what if Padme survived? What if Anakin didn't turn to the dark side? Or what if Anakin beat Obi-Wan Kenobi? What if Mace Windu survived? You know, maybe some original movie ideas, like I saw one. What if Luke Skywalker missed when he when he uh, tried to destroy the Death Star? What if Luke Skywalker turned to the dark side in episode six? So many of these ideas are really cool, other than what if Rey knew who Palpatine was her supposed dad or whatever. No one gives a fuck. You're like, even saying that, it's just boring, right? Like. I don't know, hopefully we get some really cool ideas that I've some have mentioned. I think that'd be cool if they use some more ideas. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Comment your thoughts and opinions down below on this. What do you guys think they should do for this new Star Wars What If series? I'd very much like to know. Subscribe to my sports channel and my IRL slash glowing channels. Links for them will be in the description down below. But as I was saying, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.